Hello everybody, this is Unknown Lunar back and been a while since I posted a video. And again I'm back on the Herocraft server, and again I take no responsibility for things said in chat. Anyway, today I'm gonna to show you something pretty cool in this town that is not Sovereign Barrows. It's called Magnolia. Odd name I guess, but it's named after another real life or movie town or something like that. Anyway it well, two things really. There's the town hall up here, which is pretty massive, and I'm getting some frame rate lag. Probably the server, actually. Anyway, here we have it the town hall, pretty big. And then we have over here the real thing. Hold on, let me do something real quick to help this out. Alright, that gets rid of the cloud layer, and we have a replica of the Hagia Sophia, I think it's called. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but, you know, whatever. Let's see. I'm gonna make a rune. Oh yeah, updates out, monsters are in, stuff like that. Top in craft works or all have to rebuild this. I mean unbuild it. Come on. Oh right, okay. Let's go on up. Check it out from above. As you can see, it's pretty massive. This place needs a really good vantage point for us. I guess that would work. Anyway, so leader of this map has been thinking about may maybe taking him out Dreamcraft, which would be in, um, subways once uh, my carts work better, a Let little less laggy. Although I doubt that'll happen just because of server mechanics, subways, and then I think there's also, um, you know, just walking highways. Anyway, here we have an aerial view, and a nice skeleton walking across the top. And a zombie. Be horrible. Alright, so imagine creeper and oh crap fall damage I forgot alright so imagine creeper comes up gets near the building boom and it's on the ceiling and yeah, whatever by the way yeah all these diamond things no hacks well, I mean obviously there's the thing of when you make a diamond and then does and then you can refresh your stuff but other than that yeah no hacking to get the diamonds is my point Creepers get really fat when they're about to explode. No offense to any creepers watching this video. Incoming post of if I got if I got any dislikes on this, incoming post of thirty-five creepers dislike this video or something. That's, I've never actually fought something. Except a spider and spiders are really annoying. So there you have it, combat right there right in front of you combat without mods on multiplayer how is this possible the world is ending don't know why they're not attacking oh I guess they are we'll die thank you yeah okay yeah whatever now, I heard PvP is enabled. I don't, or it was enabled at least. I don't know if it's disabled. I've been playing a lot of single player and a lot of other games, such as World of Warcraft. If you want me to make any videos of those, by the way, let me know. Because I can. That seems to be an issue. Yeah, a little bit laggy, but hey, it's multiplayer, and there are. 
33 people on. I don't know. Mobs cause the servers to be laggy. A lot more than usual. But then again, mobs have to be lot um had to be loaded in as entities. And then they had to be deloaded and loaded as people go, and you have to have the spawning algorithms going and all sorts of stuff like that. And when you've got thirty three people spread out across the map and each area of that location has to map the mob spawning algorithm spawning mobs there. <laughs> You can see why I would get kind of laggy. Yeah, that's another thing. They took out home and spawn. Now it's recall. Oh yeah, I don't. I th don't know if I made a video of this, but I guess I can put that in as uh, in this video. Do some editing. This is called the my trivia machine right here. Uh, here's the culprit. Every so, um, every day when I log in, one of these torches is just missing. Now, it can't be anybody, except maybe the admins, because I have it set up so that nobody can break anything here with it, except me. Anyway, alright, so basically the way it works is you have four contestants, line up here, here, let's help, let's see if fog helps, here. Here and here, and then each one of these corresponds to sign over here. Now this sign shows up one, two, three, four, just like that sign. That's like an overhead view. And I'll show you real quick. I'll step on number two, and wait for it. Redstone lag occurs. Tons of mobs and stuff. You see number two lights up. Now let's see what happens. Say someone answers, and because I don't want to have to look for whoever answered first, let's step on number three and see what happens. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there we go. That's a good time. And as you saw, right as you see right here, number three has not lit up. And that is because of this little beauty right here. When one of these torches is on, power, because of powering upwards, gets sent up here. And these basically, nothing special, it's just something to repeat the power so that it lasts far enough. Anyway, I could probably do it without these. But the idea is, power comes down here. And because of the power rule of pow of no power, it I mean um, not lighting up. If it's receiving power, these will permanently be turning off. Now, what happens when you pr step on one of these pressure plates is there's a, an inverter down there. A little um, let's even get a view of it. Yeah, you can kind of see the bottom of that tor torch there. Basically, a torch is down there, and when I hit this, that torch turns off. That torch turns off, which, um, because that stops giving power to these, which lets this turn on normally, under normal circumstances. But because this power here, that means that none of them, none of these can turn on. Because even if that's turned off, just like that. You can see those that that's still on, of course. Item pickup lag. Anyway, uh, but the way that it stays on is that um, down here we have a little bit of machinery. I'll break into it, and of course we have falling down. That's part of the main building, but. I got permission to put a secret passage up in it. Not really secret now, is it now? Whatever, let's go down and see stuff. Cool stuff. Um, I'll change that later. Alright, so you can see here, 
there's, believe it or not, there's a torch on top of that. That way. Um. Why did I do that? That way. Let's get out of here. That way. What I'm trying to say is this light will stay on no matter what. Until I hit this reset, which basically the reset, it'll turn this torch off, which turns that off, which resets the entire machine, and all of them happen from right here. So step on this, step off, all four reset, and ready for someone to step on another. Now, there's a reason why those two are lit and that one's not. I'm going to show you. Those two are linked directly to these, and because that wire is keeping that off, the idea is when that's turned off, the torch on there turns on. And then what the reset does, it'll turn that torch off, because it's basically self-mechanizing. Think of it like, think of it like a, a power button. You press the power button once, and your thing, your computer turns on, you press it again, and it turns off, it's pretty much like that except the buttons are in two different locations so those are linked directly to that but these two are not linked directly worried a bit about creatures here these two use a repeater system well a repeater system to turn that one off and since the repeater is linked to that not this thingy Peter's not giving off power backwards. Then we also have the fact that um, this one is linked through some crazy machine that I couldn't tell you how I made it. But it is linked to the other torch. Um, this one, I think. Couldn't tell you how I made it. All I could tell you is that I did make it. Um... Okay. There. Oh yeah, and glass does not interrupt wires for some reason. And I'm using that wide to my advantage right here. Anyway, I guess that's all I have to show you. If this has been two videos, then you probably did not see the greeting for the second video. Anyway, this has been Unknown Loner, signing off.